This is Mr. Beck Does Your Homework. This is AP Physics Homework 7.3, question number 11 and 12. A large storage tank open to the atmosphere at the top and filled with water develops a small hole in its side at a point 11 meters below the water level. The rate of flow of water from the leak is 3.4 times 10 to the minus third cubic meters per minute. Determine the speed at which the water leaves the hole. The acceleration of gravity is answer in units of. Then determine the diameter of the hole, answer in units of meters. So first I want the speed at which the water leaves the hole. This starts off as a Bernoulli's equation where the pressure at the top plus rho g, the height at the top, plus one half rho v at the top squared equals the pressure at the bottom or at the hole plus rho g, the height of the hole, plus one half the density times the velocity at the hole squared. So if I want to know the speed at which the water leaves the hole, I'm looking for this. But since the hole is open to the atmosphere and the large open and the large top is open to the atmosphere, I know that these go away because uh, P1 equals P2 equals one atmosphere. So those go away. Okay, that tells me that and that. I know that the height of the bottom is going to be zero. Okay, so that I'll just call that the height of the hole is zero. So that will go away. And the other thing I have to assume is this one. Okay, this one, let me just bring this down here. Um, I know that since the tank is large, I can just assume that that velocity is going to be very small. The velocity is negligible. And if you were to do this on an AP exam, you would want to write this negligible. So this one also goes away. So all of that, what I'm left with is that rho g, the height above the hole, equals one half rho, velocity of the water at the hole, squared. You even see density here is going to go away. So I've got one half g, uh, sorry, I've got gh equals one half v squared. That'll give me that my velocity is the square root of two g h, which should look remarkably familiar because that is the speed at which it would be falling if it fell from that height, just from our kinematics. Now determine the diameter of the hole. The diameter of the hole. Now I have to use my, my flow rate because the rate of flow of water is 3.4 times 10 to the minus third cubic meters per minute. So what I'm given is 3.4 times 10 to the minus third meters cubed per minute. Now I don't like minutes, I like seconds, so I'm going to do that one minute is 60 seconds and this will give me a flow rate in meters cubed per second. Well, I know the speed that it's leaving the hole, so I know that my flow rate is also going to be my area times my velocity. So if I know my velocity and I know my flow rate, then I can get my area. So use this, divide by the velocity to get the area of the hole, and that area is going to be pi r squared. So here I've gotten my area of the hole, here I've got my area, and I've got my pi, so I can get my radius. And if I take the radius and I double it, I will get my diameter. So twice the radius equals the diameter, and that is what I'm looking for.